Hi, this is Dan Hain in the studio here in Spokane Valley, Washington. Hey, I just wanted to tell you we had a lot of difficulty making the connection with uh, the Cheryl Boggs radio broadcast, but I d was able to make the connection with a handheld telephone. You'll see that in the video, and I apologize for that up front. But, however, this video does have some very helpful information that will be very beneficial for you. So anyway, I'm excited about what happened during this broadcast, and I think you will be too as you sit back and relax. Take it easy, take some notes, and let's get started. Well, I have Dan Hain on the line all the way from Spokane Valley, Washington. Hey, Dan. Hey, Cheryl. Great to be on the broadcast with you once again from sunny Spokane Valley. Okay, so y'all have sun, huh? Yeah, it's sun shining on the outside and sun shining on the inside as well. And we're glad for it. I know that's right. I know that's right. All right, so on your It's Possible segment, what do you have for us today? All right. Well, um, I, I'm just thankful for what Jesus has done for us. He has... Um, he laid down his divine privileges for us and took on human form and walked out a perfect life. And um, and he did that so that he could pay a price that we couldn't pay. He paid the price for every sin and every iniquity. And then um, he freely gave his life for us on the cross. And then um, he died and went to went to hell and absolutely destroyed all of the works of the enemy. Um, I'm so thankful. And then he raised from the dead on the third day, and and this absolutely caused us to be able to place our hands on an inheritance, uh, simply because God loves us. <laughs> oh man, God loves us so much. And he went through all of this so that we could come back into relationship with the Father. This this is so huge. This is so um, incredibly large, uh, such a magnificent love that God displayed for all of us uh, to come to the earth and to freely give his life for us so that we could come back into relationship with him and that we can, so that we can receive an inheritance. So we, we've been talking about this inheritance that we have in Christ Jesus the last several broadcasts. And um, uh, there's one Bible verse that has come to mind. It's 1 John 3, verse 8. The last part of this verse says, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. So this is the main purpose behind Christ coming to the earth. And um, now, uh, all of us, each one of us individually has our own purpose that God has created for us to walk in. And if you look at it uh, from the vantage point of the big picture, every one of our purposes will, will be a subcategory of the purpose that Jesus had, which was to destroy the works of the devil. So right. he, he destroyed all of the works of the devil and so each one of us individually has a certain specific gifting package, uh, certain talents, or certain talents and abilities, and so forth. And um, it's kind of like a fingerprint. Everyone has their own individual mix of of giftings and talents and abilities. But uh, every one of these gifting packages that each one of us has will specifically target itself toward. Um, demonstrating a, a destruction of a certain slice of the enemy's powers okay so then you put our per you put my purpose together with your purpose together with the next person's purpose and so forth and and then you get a complete composite purpose that will be uh, the same thing. It'll be the picture of what Jesus did. He destroyed all the works of the, of the devil. so he wants the church to rise up in everybody's purpose. Every, he wants every individual in the church to rise up in their purpose and walk in the fullness of that as an individual and then walk in unity with everybody else in the church. And then we can demonstrate that same purpose that Jesus had, which was to destroy the works of the devil. And that, that's what kind of came to mind as I read that passage. And, um, and so, um, 
then God will reveal to us our purposes. And um, you read that in the Old Testament time and time again. But then there were the Israelites that came out of Egyptian bondage, and then they went into the wilderness for 40 years, and then Moses died and Joshua took over. And then if you get into Joshua chapter 6, verse 2, this is really amazing. There's something very important for us here. It says, And the Lord said to Joshua, they, they had just entered the promised land, and they were, they were about to take the city of Jericho. Now, this in the natural was going to be an impossibility. And God was saying to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand, its king and the mighty men of valor. So this is just when they approached Jericho for the first time. And God was telling them that this is already a done deal. This has already been accomplished. He was speaking about the victory that Israel was to render over the city of Jericho as if it had already happened. But you see, in the eternal realm uh, where God is, he operates and functions outside of the realm of time. And he wants us to access that realm so that we can function from that same perspective. And so um, that's why God can say it's a done deal, because in the, in the eter eternal plan, in the eternal realm, Israel had already defeated Jericho. And so he wanted them to see this. He wanted them to see into this eternal realm, into the invisible realm of faith, so that they could place their hands on a victory and then walk it out in the natural. Um, so uh, Hebrews 11 verse 1 talks about this. Um, this is like a a faith chapter, actually. But the first verse tells us the mechanics of how faith works. And I like how the Amplified Bible puts this verse. It says, Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of the things we do not see and the conviction of their reality, faith, perce faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. So you see, you have to get beyond what the natural senses are perceiving. Uh, when the Israelites first looked at the city of Jericho, they were looking at these huge walls, massive fortifications and so forth, and, ma and a massive army manning these walls. And in the natural, it looked like an absolute impossibility for them to even put any kind of a, a dent in the wall of Jericho. But God wanted them to see into this invisible realm of faith where their victory had already been happened where it had already been placed into their hands. He, and God was saying in, in the book of Joshua chapter 6 verse 2, see, look at this. Look, you have all, I have already given you this victory. Now, every one of us has our own promised land. Every one of us has our own purpose that God wants us to walk out. And God is without question, every one of us asking us to enter into a battle that there's absolutely no way that we can win that battle in the natural. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, through the realm of faith, he has already caused us to have the victory in these situations that we face, which in the natural seem to be overwhelming. In the natural, it seems like there's absolutely no way that it could come to pass. But God is saying, look, I want to team up with you. I want to release my supernatural into your natural situation and watch you overcome an obstacle that cannot be overcome in the natural. And he wants to do this in a way so that when anybody else sees what we have faced and sees what we have walked through and they see what we have overcome, that they will realize that there is absolutely no way we could have done it on our own. They will recognize that God has actually played a part in our life. He has actually released something into our life, and it's going to have a supernatural attraction built around it that will cause people be, to be attracted into coming into a relationship with God themselves so that they can begin walking in the supernatural in the midst of facing challenges that they face. Good. He put this super on our natural. Right. <laughs> Possible. 
becomes possible. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So anyway, that's pretty much what God has been speaking to me lately, and I've been looking at these Bible passages and, and realizing that there is a supernatural realm that God wants every one of us to access. And uh, you're going to see um, in these times that we are in now, the focus coming off of individual leaders in the body of Christ, and it's going to start, it's already starting to shift onto the life of the everyday believer because God is beginning to release incredible miracles through the everyday person. And uh, you're going to see that this is a hallmark of the times that we live in. Right, right. Yes. And, you know, when the power of God is demonstrated, that's what the Bible says, signs and wonders will follow the word. And people will realize that God is still alive and he is still working miracles. He's still uh, very much aware of our circumstances. And what, what's the, what, what do I always say? Um, victory is, is, is assured. <laughs> victory is inevitable. You're going you're gonna to get it. You're going to win if you don't quit. Absolutely. And, and that would probably be the message for today. Just do not wh quit. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not quit. Do not give up because God wants to see you through. He wants to help you through. He wants to get you to the other side so that you can play a part in bringing other people through their situation as well. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that the supernatural realm is, is truly our inheritance in Christ Jesus. And Jesus qualified us 100% to function in the supernatural realm when he died and rose again from the dead. So this is absolute <laughs> inheritance is huge, man. Our inheritance in Christ is huge. And the thing I like about inheritance is is inheritances are things that we don't have to work for just inheritances are things that we can place our hands on because we're in the family and because we are in the family of god we can place our hands on the supernatural realm yes and that that's that's incredible i mean because that that power you know, that the Bible says that, that that same power that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in us through the Holy Spirit. And um, you're talking about power. Oh, yeah. That is power. immense power. Power to deliver, power to set free. Yeah. So, so that's good. And I love how you started out, you know, saying that for this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest to destroy the works of the evil one. So even though it may seem like evil is winning, it's not. That greater one lives on the inside of each one of us, and that greater one will supersede, and like Dan is saying, will put his super on our natural, and what was impossible uh, becomes possible. Absolutely. I mean, what a deal. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Right. Powerful, powerful. Well, uh, you always have another scripture somewhere in your back pocket. Or was, was, is that, did you already do your arsenal for today? Yeah, yeah, I pretty much went through it. Pretty much went through it. But the thing is, um, well, okay, here, here's one just, just to keep in mind. Uh, it's talking about in Ephesians 2, verse 10, it says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Hmm. So so it's, it's already been done. Everything that we need to walk in our purpose has been prepared ahead of time. All we have to do is begin stepping into our purpose, and we will... We will come face to face with God meeting us every step along the way with supernatural provision as we walk toward our destiny. Amen, because that's what we want to do. You know, we want to fulfill our purpose. We want to fulfill why we're here. Why, why were we created? Why did God put us in the family that he put us in? Why did he put us on the job that he put us on? You know, we, we want to be his hands and his feet in the earth to bring his kingdom 
here because God knows we need peace and there's peace in his kingdom. We need joy. There's joy in his kingdom. God knows we, we need all of that. So we need his kingdom here on earth. Do you agree with that? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, like you were saying last week, we cannot lose with the stuff we use. <laughs> because it doesn't matter what it looks like and and since i have adopted that uh mentality you know uh, if it's not good yet it's not done because all things have to work together for good to them that love god we love god you love god so if it's not good yet it's not over it's not done yet right all right well that's a good word uh mr Dan. <laughs> Dan Payne. All right. And it goes right in with your It's Possible segment. Yes, indeed. And all things are possible. And with God, absolutely nothing can hold you back. Right. Well, Dan, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, the best way is to go to my website, dhmissions.com. Uh, DH comes from my initials that, that are my first and last name, Dan Hain, and missions is spelled with an S, and you can access broadcast videos there, uh, broadcast audios are there, and then you can access my book, Keys to Your Future, Going Beyond the Veil to Discover Purpose, on that website, and this book will lead you step by step into discovering what your purpose really is, and show you how to place your hands on God's provision as you walk toward your destiny. And, oh, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Go to at Dan Good News to follow me on Twitter. Awesome. And he always has a good word, always encouraging. And his segment is It's Possible. So we just believe that with God, all things are possible. Amen. Looking at a situation that you think is that, that cannot be rectified, uh, we want you to increase your faith, realize that, with man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dan, for being on the Cheryl Boggs Show, Resting in His Word. And uh, always uh, a pleasure to talk to you, my friend. And uh, we'll talk to you again next week. All right. That sounds great. It's a huge privilege and an honor to be involved with the Resting in His Word broadcast. And uh, God bless you and God bless everyone who's listening. Amen. All right, this is Dan back in the studio here in Spokane Valley, Washington. I just want to make sure that you don't forget this point. Inheritances come to us and they are placed into our hands, not because we do something to get them. We don't earn them. Inheritances are given to us simply because we are a member of the family. And you can become a member of the family of God and receive an inheritance in Christ that allows you the privilege and the honor to come into relationship with God the Father once again and to also be able to place your hands upon the supernatural realm so that God can come into your situation and partner with you and help you through situations and bring favor to you that you cannot access by natural means. He can bring supply and provision to you that you will not be able to access through natural means. It can only be accessed through our inheritance in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. This is truly an, exi an exciting time to be alive, and God is pouring out incredible supernatural things in the earth these days. Glory to God. And He wants every one of us to be a part of that. Hey, I want to show you real quickly the website dhmissions.com. And this is where you can access my book, Keys to Your Future, Going Beyond the Veil to Discover Purpose. Now, this book will show you specifically what purpose is all about, where it comes from, how it functions, and how you can place your hands on the supernatural provision of heaven as you walk step by step into your destiny. All the information is here on D, uh, at the website dhmissions.com. And uh, all you have to do is uh, click on that slide 
and that will take you to the information that you need to order your copy of Keys to Your Future. It's available from Amazon.com. It's also available from uh, BarnesandNoble.com. It's in the catalogs of book retailers everywhere worldwide. I also want to mention that we have a Facebook page. I'll pull it up right now. And it looks like this. And you go to facebook.com and in the search box, type my name, Dan Hain, D-A-N-H-A-Y-N-E. And we have the links to the broadcast videos there, as well as I'll post occasionally a faith principle that will be a blessing to you. Also, we have a YouTube channel that looks like this right now. And if you go to YouTube.com, type my name in the search box at YouTube, Dan Hain, and it will take you to the broadcast videos. And um, you'll notice on the right-hand part of the screen, there's a submit or there's a subscribe button. Click that subscribe button and get your name on the list so that when these broadcast videos are published, you can get your hands on them right away. And uh, don't forget, if you are a person who uses Twitter, um, go to at Dan Good News, and that will pull up our Twitter page where I put the broadcast video links, and I will post faith principles on the Twitter page as well. Hey, let's come back to the studio one more time. Um, okay, well, here's the website. Let me get my act together here. And here's the studio right here. Hey, uh, this has been Dan Hain. I want to thank you for taking the time and watching these videos. And I know that God's doing great things in your life. Uh, be sure if you're on any of the social media pages to click a like and a share so that your friends can get on board with what God is doing at dhmissions.com. And I want to thank you once again for watching these videos. And don't forget... With God, all things are possible, and with God, absolutely nothing can hold you back. And also remember that if you will go with God, he will also go with you. Hey, God bless every one of you. We will see you next time.